Hello mga amigas, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Dudai. And for today's video, we're going to do a polygel nail. And this is from the brand Your Sugar. And this is from Shopee. It also comes with poly extension gel. And I got the shade Nude, Pearl Pink, and Clear. And also, it comes with a sleeping solution and the bottle for the solution. And this is the brush. Also, it comes with a nail file. This is the 100 by 180. And also, a nail buffer. And of course, the nail form na gagamitin natin later. Of course, it comes with a cute nail dryer. And you have choices of 30 seconds, 60, and 90 seconds. Ito yung itsura niya sa loob. And in fairness, maganda to. I also bought a gel polish. Dalawa dito is glitter and dalawa naman is plain. And let's start. Ito yung itsura ng nails ko before. To protect my hand, I'm going to use a sunscreen. Kasi gagamit tayo ng UV later pag kinukure natin yung gel polish at yung poly gel. First, I'm going to clean my nails by cleaning it with a alcohol and tissue para maganda yung patong ng poly gel para walang dirt sa ating nails of course let's prep our nails by cutting our cuticle and let's use a base coat and I'm going to put two coats of base coat and cure it for at least 90 seconds And now, I'm going to choose the perfect size of nail form. And dapat sakto lang, hindi ganun kalaki, hindi ganun kaliit. And ito naman yung brush na gagamitin natin to apply the poly gel into the form. And now, I'm going to prepare the slip solution para hindi madikit yung poly gel. And I'm going to use the nude poly gel. And ito, dinidispense ko na yung poly gel on the other side of the applicator. And now, using the brush and the slip solution, I will form the poly gel into the shape that I want and size. Remember, don't put too much force when applying the poly gel para hindi siya kumalat. If kumalat man lang, pwede niya siya linisin with the brush. And also, don't forget this step kasi ito yung pinaka-importante para hindi magmukhang makapal yung poly gel sa ating nail. And of course, let's cure it for at least 90 seconds. And then, gently remove the form and file it. And now, I'm going to use a clear poly gel. Same process lang of applying right amount of poly gel and use the brush and the slip solution. And by the way, kapag wala kayong slip solution, pwede naman is yung alcohol. Itong clear, ilalagay ko siya sa aking ring finger and index finger. Makikita nyo mamaya kung anong magiging itsura niya. And then shape your poly gel using a nail file kung gano'ng kahaba yung gusto nyo. And then I'm going to use the nail buffer para mawala yung kintab ng poly gel. By the way mga amigas, mararamdaman nyo naman yun kapag tuyo na yung poly gel. And I think 90 seconds is enough naman. And ayan na yung pinakasatisfying na part, yung pagtanggal ng form. And then of course, let's shape it. And ang shape na pinili ko is square lang. Kasi yun yung mas bagay sa kamay ko. Depende na lang sa inyo kung anong preference nyo. And ginagawa ko na yung right hand ko. And actually, it's very tricky since right-handed ako and hindi ko kaya na mag-isa kapag gamit yung kaliwa. Though, kaya naman, pero hindi ganon ka-perfect yung kinakalabasan ng polygel ko. I need a bit more practice and I think kapag nag-practice pa ako, makukuha ko na yung right um, thickness of the polygel. And syempre guys, this is really um, affordable, lalo na ikaw yung gumagawa ng nail extension mo or nail poly gel. I think itong set na to na pinili ko from Shopee is makaka 
3 to 5 ka na set of poly gel. So, sobrang tipid na yon. And actually, I think may mas mura pa dito sa pinili kong set. So, just check the link on the description box. Sobrang sulit na ito, lalo na itong UV nail dryer. Kasi, kapag nilagay mo yung kamay mo, nade-detect niya. Tapos, bigla na lang siya mag-on. And this is the most satisfying part. As you can see, malapit na tayo matapos. And this is the final poly gel. And of course, hindi pa ako ganun ka-pro. Kaya tatakpan ko yung mga mali ko by putting a gel polish. Ito, gagamit ako ng glitter. Ilalagay ko siya dun sa may clear na poly gel. And ayan. Lagay ko siya sa may ring finger and sa aking index finger. Alam niyo mga amigas, hindi ko din in-expect na ganito ko ganda yung glitter. Lalo na pag nilagay dun sa clear na poly gel. Lalagay ko na lang din sa description box yung link and kung anong shade yung glitter. And now I'm going to cure the glitter for at least 90 seconds. And now I'm going to put my favorite shade of gel polish. And sobrang ganda nito guys. And I think sobrang mura lang nito. I believe this is around 50 pesos or 70. And super pigmented yan. And as you can see, ang ganda nung kulay. And I'm going to put a second layer pala. Kasi I think hindi enough yung first layer. Actually, yung poly gel nga, maganda na siya on its own. Pero may mga mistake lang ako. Kaya tinatakpan ka siya ng gel polish. And as you can see, maganda naman yung kinakalabasan. And this is the second layer na. And i-cure ko ulit siya for at least 1 minute and 30 seconds. Kasi medyo makapal yung consistency ng polygen. And last na is yung top coat. Also, don't skip the top coat. Kasi ito yung sagot para maging long lasting yung gel polish. Yung top coat tsaka yung base coat, mabilis lang siya mag-dry. Kaya I think 60 seconds is enough. And lastly, let's put a serum. Sobrang important din ito. And this is the before. And after. Oh, diba? Sobrang pretty niya. For me, talagang sobrang proud ako kasi na-achieve ko tong gantong nails. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!